Hello everyone. Today we're going to have a close look at a typical English house. The houses in England are mostly divided into two types. Detached houses and semi-detached houses. About a third of British people live in semi-detached houses. Traditional English houses have two floors. The ground floor and the first or upper floor. The bedrooms and bathrooms are usually upstairs on the first floor. The living room, sometimes called the sitting room or lounge, the kitchen, the dining room and hall are mostly downstairs on the ground floor. As a rule, the living room or sitting room is the biggest room in the house. There is usually a fireplace and a big warm carpet in the living room. English people like to spend their evenings sitting in armchairs or rocking in rocking chairs in front of the fireplace. English houses are typically made of bricks and tiles. 90% of houses in England have central heating. The English commonly have a back garden and a front garden. There may be a swing and a lawn in the back garden for kids to play different games. In the front garden, people like to grow flowers and plants. Englishmen like their houses very much, and as an old English proverb says, East or West, home is best. Today we've had a close look at a typical English house, but what about outstanding British houses? Saltford Manor is a stone house in Saltford, Somerset, near Bath. It is the oldest private house where people still live. Another house is very strange. The Headington Shark House is in Oxford. It is a terraced house with a shark in the roof. It looks as though the shark has jumped out of the water and accidentally dived into the roof. Incredible! During the 18th century, people who had travelled to the Indies and America would often bring back exotic fruits. One of the travellers was so impressed by these unusual fruits that in 1777 he had his traditional summer house extended with a giant pineapple. Today the house is rented as holiday accommodation. There are lots of unusual houses in the UK. Today you've learned about some of them. Which house would you like to live in?